Um, this case is nuts. <laughs> it is weird, bizarre, any other term you can think of to describe strange. Um, get out the thesaurus because boy, are you going to need some words for strange. <laughs> um, Ronald Timmon Jr. disappeared from um, the University of Miami of Ohio um, from Fisher Hall. Originally, Fisher Hall was the home of the Oxford College for Women, because this is in Oxford, Ohio. Um, it was converted into an insane asylum and sanitarium after being purchased by Dr. Harvey Cook in the 1880s. Dr. Cook made a number of additions and renovations to the property, now called the Oxford Retreat. Among these was the acquisition of the building that came to be known as the Pines, and an adjoining structure dubbed Cook Place which the doctor used as his residence. Among the more interesting features of the property was an underground tunnel leading from the Pines to Cook Place. Um, and he could get from his house to the Pines without being seen by the patients. Um, Miami of Ohio acquired the retreat property in stages beginning in 1925. The old college building acquired first was renamed Fisher Hall and became a residence hall. Um, it, hall residents occasionally stumbled upon used straight jackets and other Oxford Retreat mementos. On April 19, 1953, one Fisher Hall resident stumbled from his room straight into Miami legend and his name was Ronald Henry Tamman Jr. Um, he was a sophomore. He played string bass in the Campus Owls the University Dance Band, belonged to the Delta Tau Delta fraternity, and was a member of the wrestling team. At approximately 8 p.m. Um, on Sunday, April 19, 1953, Tamman left his room to get new bed sheets because someone had put a fish in his bed. Ew! Yeah, I would want new sheets as well if somebody put a dead fish in my bed. Um, Who knows why? Tamman took the sheets and returned to his dorm room to study psychology. It was the last time he was definitely seen alive. At 10.30 p.m., Tamman's roommate returned to find Tamman's psychology book laying open on his desk and all the room lights on. The roommate didn't think anything of it. He assumed that Tamman had decided to spend the night in the Delta Tau Delta house. It was only when Tamman failed to return the following day that the roommate became worried and a search for the missing student began. To this day, they don't know what happened to him. Some believe he was murdered. Some think he might still be alive. Um, One witness claimed that Tamman, dazed and unable, unable to remember his name, came to her seven-mile home earlier, early on the morning of April 20th, seeking directions to the nearest bus stop. Jeez, of the sightings of him and his ghost were reported on a number of occasions. Uh, in 1973, the Butler County Coroner revealed that Tamman had visited his office seeking a blood test five months to the day before his disappearance. 
Huh. Fisher Hall was demolished in 1978, and an extensive search of the rubble was conducted, but no sign of his remains were found. Wow. Oh, he was born July 23rd, same day as my mom. Uh, but he was born in 1933. <laughs> he has dubbed the Phantom of Oxford. Um, he was from Maple Heights, Ohio, the second oldest of five. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, in 2009, detectives looked into old records about a John Doe body found in 1953 in Georgia, based on the theory that it might be the same person due to height and weight match. They obtained DNA samples from Cameron's sister and the Georgia body, but there was not a match. But it did move the case forward because it put Tammon's DNA into a database should any other search turn up in the future. An alumnus of Miami of Ohio, Jennifer Wenger, has been researching the case since 2010. As of 2020, she's working on a book as well as maintaining a blog about Tammet. I don't have the link to that. Um, I almost think it was foul play in this case. And I know I was looking down because I had a lot to read. Um, I really do. Excuse me. Um, let's see, is there a phone number for this case? No, there is not. That being said, you can call the Oxford, Ohio Police Department. I'm quite sure. Or the Ohio State Police. Um, I think he probably was murdered. Um, don't necessarily believe it was him that went to the nearby town. And asked for directions. And something interesting that was brought up was that he had dropped his psychology class. So why was his psychology book open? Why was he studying psychology? Um, some people theorize that his psychology teacher recruited him for the CIA. Or the psychology professor. I don't know where they got that from. Um, so I'm not going to say it's true or not true. I really don't know. Um, like I said, Oh, please. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, unfortunately, that's it. Um, thank you for joining me. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Please click like it. Please subscribe. Please share the video. That's how we get information. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.